What up, what up, guys? It's your boy here, Big J, talent manager here at Cloud9 Records. And I'm here with the beautiful Isioma looking very gorgeous on your green Thank top. Thank you. And um, I welcome you all to another session of Gist on the Clouds. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so it's your man. I'd like to know whom is your favorite high life artist, past and present? The cavemen. Cavemen, yeah. that's in the present. Do you like anybody from the past? Uh, if I were to pick artists? someone from the past, I'll probably go with um, Osita Osadebe. Oh, really? Yes, wow. really. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So, do you have any favorite song from either of these um, legendary musicians you've just mentioned? Uh, from the Cavemen, okay. I really like Adugo. Wow, that's actually a very, very good song. Yeah. What about you? Um, my all-time favorite will be um, Victor Waifu's 1965 hit song, Joromi. Joromi. You know the song, yeah? So tell me, in your opinion, how do you think High Life has influenced today's Afrobeats? That's a very good question, first off. I must say, High Life is at the core foundation of what we know today as Afrobeats. Okay, for to just buttress more, permit me to take you back memory lane. So in the late 19th century, um, High Life music was originated from a West African country called Ghana. And um, it was popularized um, in the late 50s in Ghana as well as Nigeria. And here in Nigeria, we had superstars like um, one of your favorite, Asita, Asita Sadebe. Sadebe. He was He was a legendary high life musician. Yes. Um, the likes of Victor Waifo, yes. um, Oliver de Cook, yeah. you know, and the likes. You know, um, Af high life at the time was a big deal. You know, that was the trend in music at the time. Until a young man by the name of Fela Kuti, the legendary yeah, Fela Kuti. Fela Kuti. You know, um, at the time, in the late 50s, he was schooling um, at the London School of Music. Wow. Yeah, and um, he returned back to Nigeria in the late 60s to start a band and they were playing a genre they titled um, High Life Hybrid Jazz. High Life Hybrid Jazz. So is that like a mix of like, what's that, what's that, what's that? So basically, yeah, it's just a mix of high life yes. and jazz, okay. but it wasn't very accepted because, I mean, it was obviously new yeah it wasn't exactly a sound people were familiar with yes so it didn't exactly make commercial success at the time okay. so back then um Felakuti and his drummer back then um uh, i can't vividly remember his name um they experimented with different sounds the contemporary sounds that existed then the likes of um jazz high life fuji wow. and they were able to Creates what we refer to as the Afrobeat genre okay. today. Okay, so um, that being said, High Life have, has some very significant elements in it. Um, some very notable elements is the um, jazzy trumpets, yeah, and uh, guitars as well. And when you listen to um, today's Afrobeat, you still hear most of those elements in mm. our songs today mm. you know and um, even though we have what I would like to call a subgenre of Afrobeat yes. they still have those elements those high life elements in them now we have subgenres like Afro piano that's Afro I'm a piano yeah. um, some people call it Afro fusion yeah. you know the combination of Afrobeats and these other genres yeah. there's Afro piano Afro pop um, Afro blues um afro emo um the likes of um um 
and the love wanting T guy, what's his yeah. name again? TK. CK, yeah. yeah. He refers to his music as Afro emo. So but you know, in even in today's music you still hear the significant element that you know, um that consists of high life music in our today's Afrobeat. So at the core, at the foundation of Afrobeat today, you find high life. Yeah. So there's a huge influence. That's amazing. Yes. All right, so Isima, tell me, what is your favorite thing about Afrobeat? Hmm. My favorite thing about Afrobeat is it's really relatable to me. Okay. Anytime I listen to Afrobeat, I'm reminded of my Nigerian roots mm. and just vibes on vibes. I cannot agree less. I must say, just to buttress on what you just said, Afrobeat is mostly um, sung in our lingua franca, the Yoruba language, Igbo, and even the Pidgin. Yes. So there's so much relatability, you know, to the sound. I, yes. I, I agree with you yeah. on 100%. All right, guys. Um, thank you.